Hey, amazing people. Thank you so much for stopping by. This is React with Grace. You are highly welcome. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, fam. In today's reaction, oh my goodness, I'm going to be reacting to these are five things I really like about Polish people. You guys know that recently I have been reacting to Poland. Like, I have been reacting to Polish people because they are amazing. Their history, their comedy, everything about Polish people is amazing. And Ah, why doing that? I want to, you know, I have this urge to react more to Poland because I haven't been there. I haven't met any Polish person, but I would really love, I would, I would really love to, you know, meet a Polish person because they are amazing by what I have watched so far. So let's watch this video. Let me know what you think about it on the comment section. Are you from Poland? Let me know in the comment section. So let's do this. Please thumbs up. That is a big ho Can I get it on camera? Yeah. yeah. That is incredible. Boom! Chesh Luja. What's up, people? Hola, Vigos that here. Welcome to another episode. Today, guys, I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, I'm shooting this intro after I already shot the whole episode. I forgot when I did the beginning of it. Doesn't matter. Let's go with it. Five things I like okay. about Polish people. According to French sociologist Emile Durkheim, he believes that human beings are essentially social beings. However, he does not believe that society is the sum of its individuals. He believes that societies are an entity in its own right. He argued that societies are more than the sum of its parts. We know there's all sorts of people, and usually generalization is not a good thing. But I believe that we can actually learn a lot by observing larger groups of individuals acting and reacting inside their cultural bubble. So today, I'm going to tell you five things that I really like about okay. Polish people Come as a whole. Me. Number one, refusing to forget who they are. Cultural identity is the identity of belonging to a group. It's part of a person's self-conception and self-perception, and it's related to any kind of social group that has its own culture. I've been able to live in several countries after I married wow. my Polish wife, so I've had my fair share of encounters with Poles living abroad, as well as the you know friends and family that we meet when we go back to Poland. And you know what? Let us exclude obvious things like second languages, accents, <coughs> even political views. Let's stick strictly to cultural identity. I haven't met the first Polish person that doesn't love their wow. Polish bread or that will not tell you things straight up just as they are. That's and I amazing. really, really like this because it shows you that Polish people are very connected to who they are, not just as individuals, but as a whole. At the end of the day, we are a walking representation or a walking advert for our That's own amazing. countries. And you know what? Polish people represent Poland very well. Doesn't matter where they are, they act like Polish people. Number two. They know what home is. I used to believe that Latinos were the pure definition of family-oriented people, and no one would even come close to us. The way we cherish the family nucleus and the respect that we show to our loved ones, I thought that those things would be unmatched, honestly speaking, until I met wow. Polish people. In Poland, family is fundamental to people's lives. It makes them feel grounded. For example, Jadki are part of everyday life of their grandchildren. Extended family even plays a central role. Uncles and chochas are part of the daily life. I remember how I was almost immediately treated as a close member of the family by the grandparents, by the cousins, even with a language barrier. And all these things really make you feel at home, like you belong to something bigger. Sitting down together to share a meal, all those things are still very, very important in Polish culture. Family values are still upheld with the utmost importance. Older relatives are being taken care of by the family, and even though nursing homes and care facilities are increasing in use, if you know your parent or grandparents must live in one, it's expected for their children and grandchildren to take part of their daily life and to visit them often and make sure that they still feel that very close family connection. Wow, that's amazing. Number three. That's really amazing, you know. Yeah, you know. A uh, family that stays together, you know, well, how did they even say there is this thing they say family that prays together stays together. Family is everything, right? Yes, yes, family is everything. I love it when people look out for their family and you know, seeing Poland that you know they don't joke with their families, their family members, their loved ones is really amazing. I really love it. I really love it because I, I personally, I don't joke with family. Family is number one priority, it's number one priority, right? So yeah, this is amazing. Number three, they are not entitled. 
there are just some people that is such a drag to be around. They act like the world belongs to them and whatever doesn't belong to them should belong to them. Let's face it, we all know at least someone like that. And even though I don't think that there are any, you know, big cultures or countries that as a whole act like this, <clears throat> America, I have actually found the opposite. A country whose people are collectively not entitled, not jaded, and pretty down to earth. And that country is called Rzeczpospolita Polska. No, no, it's not Rzeczpospolita, it's Rzeczpospolita Polska. The Republic of Poland. I really love the fact that Polish people are humble, wow. they're not arrogant. As a matter of fact, it's quite the opposite. They will downplay their accomplishments. Cześć Kuba, gratuluję nowej pracy. Musisz być naprawdę dobry. Może nikt inny nie aplikował na to stanowisko. It's very easy to be around them. If you need their help, they'll lend it to you in a heartbeat. Mm -hmm. Also, it doesn't matter if they have nice things or not. Very rarely they're gonna showcase those things, they're gonna show you, they're gonna talk about them. It's like as if they're almost ashamed to have those things. This is especially true with accomplishments like promotions, awards, good grades. Those things are the result of hard work, so there's no need to be celebrating too much. Just keep on working hard. Wow. Wow, like this one, I'm really surprised about it. You know, most people or most countries, when they win something, they kind of showcase it, they kind of, you know, celebrate. But hearing that Poland, they don't really fancy all of that. You know, wow, this is amazing. And this is why I want to learn more of no more about Poland or Polish people because I'm beginning to love it. <laughs> oh my goodness, you guys are so unique and amazing. Polish people, oh my god, you guys are amazing. Let's continue. Number four, they are smart. Yeah, I know I'm generalizing a little bit and I know that I'm also making a very big statement, but bear with me, I have some proof. Listen to this. According to the recent PISA survey, which is the Program for International Student Assessment, Polish teenagers perform well above average in the fields of reading, math, and science literacy. This was quite apparent for me from the very first time that I started interacting with Polish people. Their opinions are usually based on research or at least having read a lot about the topic that they are talking about. Wow. Even in my YouTube comment section, go take a look. There are comments and comments and threads and discussions and most of them are either research or intelligent or at least they have substance to it. I also believe that many of them are actually interested in deeper topics, be it humanities or tech or economics, doesn't matter. I very rarely had mundane conversations with a Pole about something as trivial as just the weather. They speak several languages besides Polish, German, Russian, English. They're humble and they're a little shy, so they always say, oh, I'm sorry that my English is not so good, but yet they're able to communicate perfectly fine. And don't you go thinking that this is just a younger generation because schools, they have language programs and all that. Even the older generation at least spoke two languages. Depending on which part of Poland they were from, they would speak Polish and German or Polish and Russian. That's a beautiful horse. That is a big ho Can I get it on camera? Yeah. yeah. That is incredible. Mm. He's not our biggest though. No? Where I come from, horses are not this big. Yeah. Look how big. And number five, they are fighters. There's a saying that goes, there's nothing so good without something bad, and there's nothing so bad without something good. We all know about that feisty Polish temperament, right? Well, you didn't know? But this has some amazing positives. It makes for individuals that are extremely driven and that will push through almost everything. They are tenacious, they are gutsy, and they never quit. Well, you know, their ongoing pessimism might stop them from actually starting something, but hey. But once they start, they are not quitters. And this fighter characteristic comes out, especially and particularly when they're being forced to do things that they don't want to or they don't believe in. A great example of this is the Polish underground state. In 1939, after Hitler invaded Poland, the Poles laid out the foundation to what would become an all-encompassing, incredibly massive resistance movement called the Polish Underground State. And like any state, it had its own government, administration, army, press, 
cultural movement. And all of this was being carried out in secret with the participation of millions of Poles. Imagine something like that. What type of society must be? What type of individuals this society must have? And what it says of their character that they can go through things like that and still come out at the other end strong as a unit and being able to proudly say that they are Polish. So to say that Polish people are fighters is an understatement and it's one of my favorite things about them. Boom! That's all guys, that's the end of the episode. I hope you liked it. To be honest, I've been meaning to do this episode for a while. I've had it on my list of topics that I wanted to cover. This is super beautiful. This is super amazing. Like Polish people, they are so unique and amazing in their own way. With what, with the little I have, you know, watched about Poland people, they are really amazing. You know, um, for some time I have reacted about Polish people. I've never seen anyone kind of insulted me or anybody from Poland that you know dropped a, a, a you know negative comments on my comment section. I don't know if there will be any in future, but. The ones I have done so far, I haven't seen anything like that. And it makes me, unlike other countries when you react to them, you know, but, and that made me love them so much. Like, you guys are super amazing. You, you guys are too much. Oh my goodness. It's amazing. It's amazing. And yeah, thank you so much if you watched up until this moment. Like, if you have any particular video you want me to react about Poland, please, you can drop the link for me on the description i mean drop the link on the comment section or you can tell me about the video on the comment section and also please enlighten me more about this video on the comment section are you from poland ah i love you guys you guys are amazing okay thank you so much for watching this video please don't forget to like and share subscribe to my youtube channel because i know you will definitely love it here and i will see you in my next video thank you and bye